Never Awake is a pretty unknown banger of a twin stick shooter which follows the story of a girl locked in a coma who fights monsters in her dreams. The story itself is rather short and the Platinum Trophy only requires you to play each mission at least twice with some free times depending on if you clear the requirements on your first try. All in all, Never Awake will only take you roughly 12 hours to Platinum, so it's pretty short. Admittingly, I stumbled across this game during one of my many nights where I just lounge in my gaming chair and search YouTube for hours on end. So if you like weird, wacky and wonderful Platinums, hey, that's me, then this could be the game for you. And also check out my 5 hidden gems video. Shameless plug aside, we're here for Never Awake though, and to earn this Platinum Trophy, we'll be going in completely blind as there are no guides available online currently. So after booting up the game and doing a mini tutorial, we are then thrown into the first mission of the first world. And it is here that we earned our first trophy for simply completing the level. The trophy, first mission. Each world consists of 10 missions and two of those missions contain bosses. In order to help the player, there is also weapon upgrades that can be brought with in-game currency and items that can be equipped to improve specific requirements. We'll cover this a little more, bit more later. On the third mission of the first world, we come across our first boss, Wasabi Mustard. And it is here we gathered 100 souls from the Wasabi Mustard boss for the trophy Full Harvest. From here we just continued mission by mission clearing the first world and because it was the first one it really didn't give me much trouble at all. Once the first world was fully complete and the final boss was defeated we then got the trophy Radish Ruler. The same could not be said about the second world. It was here that I got the first of many death related trophies and off the top of my head this is the first death related trophy where I've not purposely ended up killing myself a number of times just to achieve it. The non more missions weren't too difficult but the final boss was a right pain in the arse and it was here that I had my 10th death and for that I got the trophy. What was that? Well. It was a huge mutt that looked like something Paris Hilton would probably have in her handbag. Thankfully, due to the inconsistency of unlocks, because I still don't know why or how the game decides which items and weapons to unlock next, I grew a little stronger and eventually took out the final boss from the second world, and in doing so, I got the trophy, all bark, no bite. No real hiccups in the third world, only a couple of deaths during the final boss, but I did notice just like with the weapons and accessories, I was unlocking diary entries every so often. And again, I didn't really know how, how when, why they were being determined. Of course, these were telling the story of the game very loosely, but there isn't really anything to tell other than what I said at the start of the video. We eventually beat the final boss of the third world, the dentist, and we get the trophy, taste of your own medicine. After the third world was complete, we then unlocked some challenges for the first three worlds. These challenges were missions that we had already cleared, but with a specific requirement. One of these was for completely defeating a boss by not collecting the souls, which I managed to do on our good friend Wasabi Mustard, which netted me the trophy, I didn't want to do this. That last trophy could have been done on any boss, but due to the challenge being on Wasabi Mustard, it was two birds, one weird vegetable. For completing the challenge, we also unlocked a picture, and once all challenges on World 1 were complete, 
I'd completed the World One Family album, which gave me the trophy, I don't remember this. I then continued with the challenges on World 2 and World 3, and in truth, none of them really gave me any bother. For completing the World 2 family album, I got the trophy, me and the dog. And then, for the World 3 family album, I got the trophy, I'm sick too. I then jumped back into the New Worlds and quickly cleared all the missions in World 4, including the boss, Toilet Kanoko, for the trophy, Growth Spurt. And then, World 5 where once again we didn't have much issues, except for a couple of deaths against Mad Wheel, which we eventually beat and got the trophy, Slow and Steady. With World 4 and 5 now complete, I decided to check off their challenges sooner rather than later. The World 4 challenges were pretty simple, and for completing these, I got the family album and the trophy, Mondays are the worst. But my god, one of the challenges on World 5 was such a ball ache. The challenge was to collect 100% souls in one loop. Basically, each mission will play out on a loop until the souls have been collected or the boss has been defeated. I tried and failed this challenge easily about 40 to 50 times. Unlike other levels where I had to kill enemies for the souls, I just had to fly over them, but it was hectic as hell. Eventually, I did manage to get the 100% within one loop to finish the last challenge on World 5, granting me the family album and the trophy, Daddy's a Speed Demon. Then it was time for World 6 and this is where the difficulty really began to ramp up, and I died a number of times just on the standard missions. So by now I'd accumulated 30 deaths, and I got the trophy, ah, so tough. But eventually I managed to clear all the missions and the final boss on World 6 and got the trophy, the walls have ears. This unlocked the next world, World Route A. This was the world for one of the endings of the game, and although I did die a fair few times, I did manage to get through this world quite easily. We come up against the final boss, who we managed to deal enough damage to so that we can collect 100% of the souls. With this, I got the trophy, Good Morning, and then we see the boss grab our character and overload them with souls until they blow up. We then finally see Rem, I think that was her name, finally wake up where we are then told to complete the challenges to see an alternative ending. So that's exactly what I did. I completed the World Route A challenges for the family album and the trophy, I remember everything. However, I had to play some random levels in the hope of unlocking some better equipment, as the World 6 challenges were something else. And that was, until I managed to clear them and earn the last family album and the trophy, Mummies and Daddies Shouldn't Fight.
With all the challenges now complete, I'd unlocked the 8th world, Route B. During these missions, rather than collecting the souls, I had to destroy them, and the missions themselves were not too difficult. At the end of Route B, rather than a boss, we just had to destroy fragments of our heart, while words begin appearing on the screen. It said, she cannot be saved, and much more, but the mission ended before the full message was revealed. And then, we got the trophy, good night. I then missed a trophy popping, which was for beating a previous score 10 times, and the reason why I was starting to replay levels was because of a trophy that required you to beat each mission, bosses included, using both Regulation A and Regulation B. Basically, Re Regulation A, every weapon and accessory is usable, whereas Regulation B meant that there were some items that could no longer be used, so I had to replay every single mission switching between the regulations. While going through each world in order, I got to world 4 and unlocked the final diary entry, which gave me the trophy, kinda embarrassing. Before finishing every single level without much trouble to finally have both regulations and earn myself the trophy, complete collection. I then had a few miscellaneous trophies that I just couldn't figure out how to do them. I went back onto the very first level trying to get 1 million points and reach loop 10. I didn't know this, but with each loop more enemies spawn, so I died. And as it happens, that was my 60th death, so I got the trophy, I'm not finished yet. After a few more attempts, I finally managed to get to the temp loop within a mission which granted me the trophy, too many of them, and yes, this was absolutely hectic. Still racking my brain, I went to bed after numerous failed attempts to get the next two trophies. I checked the internet for guides, YouTube for videos and I just couldn't find anything. As I was lying there, trying to fall asleep, it hit me. In order to defeat a boss on loop 3, I just had to not collect the souls after defeating it. The mission would loop, and then rinse and repeat. I felt so stupid, but I then had to wait until the next night before putting it to the test. And lo and behold, it worked. I defeated the boss, our friend Wasabi Mustard, on loop 3 for the trophy, just stop already. And it was also on this run here, on this same boss, that I finally managed to get a score of 1 million, thanks to repeated loops for the trophy, Millionaire. Two trophies left and the inconsistency showed itself again. I'd completed the game with both endings and all the challenges, but still hadn't unlocked a level 5 weapon. That was until I began repeatedly killing myself, and one of the unlocks was exactly that. So once I purchased it, I got the trophy, my strongest weapon. And the reason why I was repeatedly killing myself was because I had to die a total of 100 times for the final trophy. And thankfully, this didn't take too long before I got the trophy. Look how far I've come. And, of course, the beautiful platinum trophy. Whoop whoop! <laughs>